I have something so freaky to tell you. We're going to talk about the quantum space, that fifth dimension accessing. And I'm going to discuss how near-death experiences, NDAs, enlightenment, and quantum jumping all are similar, just different entrances, entryways, ways to enter that field. But I want to share something with you. This is now the sixth time I've shot this video and something has gone wrong every single time that's unexplainable. Are you ready for this? Yeah, it's electronics and it's a few other things that are so beyond just random. There's no such thing. Why am I not able to shoot this particular video, which by the way, is going to share some very powerful information with you. Are you ready for this? You got to hear this one. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Why have I shot this six times? Well, my camera, camera number four, one died, bought a second one, it died, third one died, fourth one, the well, third one wouldn't even charge, fourth one, the batteries won't charge. My computer died yesterday, this is a brand new Mac, and then I ordered a vacuum cleaner for it. This arrived brand new. This battery is drained and it will not charge. My car died. Remember that? That did come back. What's going on out there? I shot this video several times. I'm now on shoot number six and it wouldn't load. It kept failing. I wanted to share something with you. There's a lot going on and we're going to cover a very important subject today. So I am going to take pieces from the other video because only a portion of it I could save. And I'm going to tack it on to the back of this. It's going to be about products that I want to share with you that are going to clean up your environment, clean up your energy field. Let's start with please subscribe. I would love for you to support my channel. That's how it keeps me going. It, uh, if you want more notification. Somebody said, how come I'm not being notified? You hit subscribe and then you have to click the bell and let them know how often you want to hear from me. I hope that you've purchased my book. It is more relevant now. In fact, I'm going to talk about the download of that book, where that information came from. Breakthrough Fear is one of the most powerful spiritual books you'll ever read in your life. It may be the last one you ever need. It covers some of the things we're going to talk about tonight. Would you like to quantum leap? Do you know what that means? Would you like to have the, let's just say the openings and the experiences that people have to die and come back to experience? What about enlightenment? What do they all have in common? Well, I wanna share with you that I have existed in multiple dimensions at one time. I had what's called the fourth sight. When I went into the awakened, super awakened state, I was outside of my body up here. I was aware that I was outside of my physical body. What is that? When you let go of ego and all the limitations, there's no barriers anymore. You break open the veil and now you're in the space that exists right here, but you have your consciousness goes into it. There's no, there's no line, there's no dividing line. It's always there. But it's like anything. If you're in a dark room, you can't see what's in the room until you shine the light. It always was there. And then the light reveals whatever's in the room. And that's what enlightenment is, literally enlightenment. So when you go into consciousness, your conscious mind now goes out into what is there because nothing is stopping you from experiencing it. Actually, it is you. It is the field that is you. Let's talk about a vibration, a vibration. I can't believe I'm doing this six times. This is crazy. Vibrations versus frequencies. A vibration is just a form of energy. 
each vibration determines the form of energy. That's all. It's all one thing. But there will be, let's just say, facets of the energy field that will take on a different vibration to be a person and a planet and the sun and a tree. And the vibration determines the form of that energy field. The frequency is what happens within that vibration, all right? You can go up and down within it, so you can be in a lower density vibration as a human being. And if you raise your frequency, you can expand that uh, energy field, your consciousness into the energy field to experiencing something di to experience something different. A belief determines your reality. Every one of us gets to choose our reality, and it's based on our beliefs. That's why near-death experiences can go into that other space, and people have different experiences. This sounds similar, but somebody might say there's hell because they're on a different frequency, and that doesn't change when you go over. That's why it's so important for you to get it in check. When I was in several different dimensions, let's say the fifth dimension, I had what's called the foresight. And I could see things on a level that was so beyond the human eyesight. Things were intense. You could see like a speck of dust was so clear and vivid and real and beautiful. Everything's intelligent. You feel vibrations coming toward you. You can just feel it pass through. You're actually interacting with all everything that's all intelligent. And you recognize that intelligent. You see the light in everyone. And you see past whatever they're doing here on a lower frequency, and you go into that unconditional love and compassion. A portal opens when you go into that high frequency of enlightenment. And so now you are experiencing that quantum space that we're talking about today. What does that mean? All things lie there. Inspiration, motivation, inventions, um, books, and, and you know, think anything, anything you, music and, and uh, answers. Uh, you know, you can manifest amazing things, but when you go into that space on a high frequency, you're not trying to manifest things, material objects, just to get stuff. It just all flows to you because there are no rules to it anymore. So you will actually have more abundance than you ever imagined. I had piles of money. I found a two and a half carat diamond in the street. Yes, I did try and find the owner. Uh, another jewelry, uh, beautiful jewelry. Uh, I would go and walk into a room and there'd be prizes that I would win. It got freaky for my friends. What is that? I had no barriers anymore. So it flows. So if you have barriers, I can't do this. I need this, that needing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try and manifest is the I lack. I don't have, I need it to be happy. Usually when you're trying to manifest stuff, something, you're doing it to be happier, right? It doesn't work that way. You have to be that happiness first. So you go into this space where all things lie for you. Now, near-death experiencers go into that other side and they're poking a hole. They're poking a hole through that matrix veil. And when they pass over into that quantum space, that endless quantum space, they get to experience what's over there, still on their frequency. When they come back in, that portal is still open because they poked a hole and passed over. So they will access the things over there and come back very often with psychic abilities, uh, answers, uh, all kinds of new skills. That's because they opened the portal. They didn't actually die because that cord was still attached. If they died, it would have been a totally different experience. It would have been way beyond what they tell us about. Now, again, their experience over there is based on their personal beliefs. So if I believe in Jesus, I might, you know, go over and see Jesus. Or if I believe in hell, I might go over and experience hell. Or if I feel remorseful over how I've lived, then I will experience that. And I'll come back and maybe get my act together, right? Now, what's quantum leaping? Quantum leaping is when we uh, go into that space. Now, the difference is when you go into enlightenment, you're actually, it's a way of life, all right? When you have a near-death experience, you're thrown into that abyss. Uh, and, you know, there's an opportunity there. When you quantum leap, it's purposeful, all right? It's purposeful. However, um, you have to be careful with that because you don't want to go over there on a low frequency because 
you will come into contact with things on the frequency you're on. That's how it works here too. People think certain things here. I'm like, you know what? You're dialed into that. So your reality, your belief is that. And it's true. It's real. So don't argue with anybody. Whatever they believe and think is real for them as it is for you. Why, why are you more right than they are? That's the ego. Thinks it knows everything. The foresight, again, is so intense. And when you are in the super awakened state, that portal opens so you get information. Now, I downloaded my book this way. And so the book was coming through at all hours. And this information over there would pour in. And I knew I had to get in front of the computer. It would be three, four crazy hours. And I would sit there and write and write and write. And this was information that I just knew. And there are things I just know right now. Everything's your interpretation. So like, let's say people get abducted and they're on craft and they say it's, you know, they're evil and all this. It's because they're still in density and they can't even imagine another agenda that's maybe positive one. And so your beliefs are going to taint how you think and feel about everything that happens with and for you. You are totally in control. You're 100% a creator. Why am I shooting this video? Because this is what we're going into now and this is what you can access and learn. Now, we have two years, get your act together, and I'm going to give you some product information coming up from the other video, praying, praying that it plays. Um, so we have two years where these planets are, are, for the first time in 35 years, I think there's seven planets aligning, and then red, the red star, Regulus, is going to line up over the pyramids, and a new era is going to be ushered in but it's still your choice and things are going to dissolve and fall away. And this is why we have to focus on solutions, not taking sides of right and wrong. That's the old way. So you guys know about digital explorers. I'm creating a new way of doing business, passion, purpose, and positive impact. I'm saying this doesn't work. People are chasing money because they think money's going to make them happy. It's a total opposite. It's never going to happen. So we create abundance but we focus on what we're giving, how we're changing the planet, we're doing good things, and we're going to passion, and there's so much joy in that, and then you get rewarded financially. You're placing your priorities on the one, doing really good things, and then illnesses you know, are healed. And there are openings that you never imagined, but I'm creating a way of doing business that's so different from anything out there. Why? Because people think it's easy to sell a scam or a scheme. I won't do it. Don't lower your frequency and get sucked into anything. Get off of those channels that are saying negative stuff or making up the doggone silliest things I've ever heard. Keep this in check and clean your, your whole body up. Um, now, I've actually even lost, I, I had all kinds of notes. What I want you to know is you can live in multiple dimensions here in this body. You can actually live in the conscious state of the massive uh, field that's unlimited out here, where everything you ever need, you can access it. And so that's where you want to stay. And I know it's tough because enlightened beings, sometimes it's difficult to be here on this planet because we have to witness such craziness, right? And it's like you have this information of like, it's this is so easy. All we have to do is love one another and collaborate, right? There's never any lack. Now we're going to go into some very challenging times but not if you go into this. If you go into this, you're going to be so relieved and say, oh, finally, I want you to think about this. I mean, it's just everybody that puts anything negative out there knows that what we're eating, what we're taking in our bodies, the chemicals we use for our laundry and everything else, they're very well aware that they're toxic and unhealthy. But the government allows it because it's all about money. And we have to stop this um, reaction to what we think is we're going to get that's going to make our lives more comfortable because you are so much greater than that. You can live in multiple dimensions. I have been doing it and I went into such a high frequency one time for years that I found it very difficult to speak to people or be around any negativity. So fortunately, I came down, Eckhart Tolle spoke about this, like, oh, okay, that's what it, that is. And I came down, uh, my frequency came down a little bit. So it enabled me to come here and talk to you 
Otherwise, I would just probably go sitting on a mountain and eat rice, <laughs> rice and meditate and not bother with anything. <laughs> so I'm going to break away now. I'm going to talk about some products because you have to start cleaning up your energy field, your space, everything you do, what you eat. Uh, you have to be conscious of absolutely everything. No excuses. We can't claim being ignorant anymore. You have way too much information that you can look up. And I suggest you do. But if you're putting it in your mouth, Oh, if you still eat meat, I want you to find out how it's being killed and what chemicals they're putting into it. And if it's negative at all, there are other things that you can do. And I'm not saying you have to give up meat, but if you can, it probably be healthier for you. All right. So let's go into, let's go into the products right now. This is, this is really deep stuff <clears throat> that you can explore with me. We're going to talk more about this because we're going to go into that space. Now, Nikki, who has who sees the orbs, and I are going to do a master class. It's coming up here in March. This video's in March of 2024. And we're going to do a video, and we're going to start exploring the unknown space that no one ever has to fear. When you're not in fear, you're powerful. Nothing can harm you. You are eternal. Everything is beautiful and perfect. Now, I have another video I shot. I'm piecing these together. But um, so the reason why that world over there, people come back and say it's more real than this one is because it feels like you're, I don't know, it feels like this is dumbed down. It's not, it's not really, uh, it's not this vivid, beautiful, you know, thing because the vibration actually creates, like I call them veils. It's, it's the easiest way to describe it. That world is the real world. That is true reality because it's uninhibited. But again, your beliefs can create your own individual realities, even over there. So we need to work on it. Um, so Earth, this is your best opportunity. Everything here is an opportunity. And it doesn't always feel good, but it's an opportunity. So can I be loving despite? Can I not judge no matter what that person does? Can I accept the choices of others? Now, we don't have to tolerate bad behavior. In fact, we're going to do that less and less. We're going to say, it's not okay for you to treat me that way because now you're in my energy field and my choices. And so we have a response. Our response now is, and, uh, and you know, hopefully it's on, I'm doing this on the right side. And the response is that um, digital explorers, wherever it is up here, uh, is to create a new world. Just focus on creation, expansion, creation, expansion positive choices. I'm also going to put down in and okay, hold on, I'm going to get these, get this for you. Okay, I want you to see this because we're talking about clearing up our energy field. Every, every single choice you make, you have to be responsible for all your choices. <clears throat> so you cannot be putting anything in your dishwasher that has plastic. They're trying to ban that in the United States. It's poisoning us. We are loaded with plastic. And so we got to clean that energy field. That's going to help you connect to this other field that's pure and respectful. And so if you're making conscious decisions about what you're using and disregarding what it's doing to our planet, our bodies, this goes into my dishwasher. And I got to tell you something, my dishes are sparkling clean. And when I was using that other garbage, the chemicals, uh, I, I, I was getting spots and this is amazing. It comes in paper. It's Blue Land. I'm an affiliate. It took me forever to get approved by them. They're very picky about who they work with. Foaming hand soap. I like liquids. You just put this little tab. It looks like this, one of these. Put this little tab. Mm, great smells. And water. And keep, uh, keep one of your pumps. I have glass pumps. And then... Uh, it dissolves and you have a whole thing of foaming soap and the price is so good. Everything, you get an initial container, which is metal that you keep forever. And then the refills all come in paper. I'm going to give you all those links down there. My laundry, which comes out great. Um, even dryer sheets. Did you know those are chemicals that go on your skin? Don't be using those. And then they go out, you know, how many dryer sheets are sitting out there? My toothpaste is all, uh, it's called Bite. And that's little pellets that come in a glass container and the refills come in paper. Bite is, I, I'm not an affiliate of theirs, but um, so 
no chemicals in your body and not a hundreds of toothpaste tubes that are metal that are going out. We've got to eliminate this. This, this is an easy one for you because by the way, it's cheaper, cheaper than the other stuff with no chemicals, no harmful stuff, clean the body up. So I'm giving you options. You've got to be, you've got to start doing this because we are, it's accelerating and we're going into this space. We're going expanding. And so whatever reality you're creating and, and frequency is expanding out into that space. It's not like, oh, if I expand there, then I'm in, you know, la la land. No, you could still be in the basement in that space because these veils come down. You go into that space, you could still be in the basement living that frequency out into the, you know, the, the uh, source abyss and somebody else will not be in your space. Those individual expressions will not be in your space. You won't share it because that individual energy field now is going to expand into something bigger and go off. It goes much bigger than that. Read the book. But so I've given you choices. I've told you near death experiences go out into the space beyond the body. Quantum jumping is going out into the space beyond the body where everything lies. Enlightenment is going out the space in the body, uh, out of the body. But enlightenment is a, a way of living. You can actually stay there. You don't necessarily stay in that high frequency. I did come down. Thank goodness I wouldn't be sitting here with you because you're in such bliss. You just find it even difficult to speak to people. So there's a purpose for that. Same thing with uh, Eckhart Tolle spoke about this. I was like, oh, I thought you just go into bliss and you stay there. And so I did lose my fourth sight. So we can practice and work on going back into that. We still have to function here as human beings, and it's not an easy job to be in bliss and still have to function in what can be very challenging. So, um, all right, so work with me here. Actually, this is very interesting, isn't it, that all these things are going wacky, wackadoodle. So let's uh, let's keep going. Let's see what happens with camera number five. Yeah. I have a brand new Mac. Thank goodness uh, it's operating just fine. Um, I don't know what to tell you other than uh, I think the energy fields are shifting in ways we can't understand. I think everything's shifting out there. You know, we've got two years before all those planets line up and Regulus, the Red Star Regulus, is going to line up right over the Sphinx and something amazing is happening. You've got two years to get your game on, all right? Clean up your act, clean up everything in your house, your body, and clean this up. Stop the stories in the chatter. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Talk to the hand. I've got something bigger to go into that's so beautiful and amazing. And you're going to see other people for the perfect, beautiful light beings they are that are just gathering information with their experiences. All right. So um, I hope this was helpful. I don't know how choppy this is going to be because of the various videos I've had to shoot, but you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful. Ooh. <laughs> Loving, harmonious, and happy blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.